Hey, what's up? I'm Liz with Split Say DIY. It's Sunday morning. I have coffee. I also have some updates. Uh, I haven't done like an update video in a while, and actually I have like a decent amount of stuff happening right now, so I figure it was probably a good opportunity to do so. Um, first things first, um, I've been trying to do a video per week, and you may have noticed this week I didn't technically have a video on my channel. Um, that's because I did a video for David Watt's channel. Uh, if you don't know David Watts, uh, we've been chatting a bit for the past like year or two. He also does electronics projects, also obviously has a YouTube channel. Um, he's away on a really awesome trip to Japan, really jealous. Uh, and he asked like, hey, do you want to do like a guest video on I'm away so I can still like post? Uh, and I was like, yes. <laughs> so uh, I did that. Um, it went up on Thursday uh, and it's using, let's see if I can get the wires up. Yeah. Um, this is the breadboard. Isn't this a beautiful breadboard? Um, uh, it's basically using an LED matrix with the Mac 7219, which I had a video on last week. Um, but this is using it with um, MSG Q7 IC, the 7-band graphic equalizer IC, uh, and CircuitPython so that you can basically make like a bar graph um, visual analyzer for music. Uh, so... That's up on his channel. I'll link it down below and I'll throw it on the end card thing. And yeah, so that was a new video for this week. Other videos that I've done recently, I did a getting started with LEDs and Arduino series for Oppress. And Oppress was the publisher for my book. Uh, they reached out if I was interested in doing any video content and yes. Uh, so they're going to be starting having um, like video content on their site for um, for like libraries and schools to have as part as um part of kind of their learning library. Uh, so I decided to do um, kind of a getting started of LEDs uh, and Arduino uh, series for that, uh, where I basically start from like the bare bones beginning, uh, like blinking an LED and I go all the way up to Charlie Plexing. And let me just say, explaining Charlie Plexing was probably one of the hardest <laughs> things I've ever had to do. Um, I'll link the video, uh, the video series down in the description. It's open right now, but eventually is going to be behind a paywall because it's it's more for like libraries to buy like packages for schools and things. Um, but it's open right now if you wanted to check it out. I'll tell you right now though, it's not my usual style of video because I went like full on educational. So it's basically top down and like screenshots of the code. But just wanted to put it out there that I did that. Um, it was really fun to work on. Stop it! Feral cat problems. And actually working on that project got me kind of back into working with LEDs and also kind of reset how I was looking at some projects I was working on just because it was going back to basics and really thinking about like, well, why do I like doing electronics and like what's fun about it? So there's that. That's why you may have seen an increase in LEDs on the channel. I've kind of been in that headspace of pretty lights. Uh, another thing I did, uh, I you may recall a couple weeks back I did the Pi Portal Twin Peaks project with um, the picture frame. I did do a learn guide for that with Adafruit, so that's live um, and up there. It has all the code files. I also go through how to dremel out this hole at the top of the picture frame. So that learn guide is up. Um, I hope I do a couple more things with the Pi Portal. I have a couple ideas. Um, none of them involve internet connectivity, though. I don't. I don't know. I can never. I never naturally think to do like IoT projects, like. Basically, the only IoT project, IoT project I've ever done has, was for um, How you doing? I'm just gonna sit there. <laughs> I just never think to do internet connective projects. I don't. I don't know. And finally, the last big thing, and this is like big. Uh, <laughs> To the point that I'm like, what have I done? Uh, so, Bay Area Maker Fair, uh, or I, th I think they prefer to say Maker Fair Bay Area, but if you say Bay Area Maker Fair, then you can use BAMF as the uh, acronym, which is pretty badass. Uh, so, I um, I'm going, but also I applied to give a talk. It got accepted. So I'm going to be giving a talk at Bay Area Maker Fair on uh, doing electronics with ASUS Tinkerboard, so kind of riffing on my book a bit, um, and I'm really excited. 
also really nervous. Uh, I've never given a talk before unless you count like giving a PowerPoint in school. And I really, I didn't even really do a lot of that because I was a production major. So, I mean, it'll be fine, right? <laughs> what could go wrong? Don't answer that. But um, I've mentioned before, like I work in education as like an AV IT support person. So I actually, I basically do presentation support every day. So I have a really good idea of what can go wrong. But, and it's kind of refreshing to not have to really be worrying about the technical aspects because someone else is going to be doing that that day. So also like getting my mind out of that headspace has been kind of tricky. Uh, like I'm not setting up the AV that day. I don't have to worry about the sound. I don't have to worry about any of that. But that's what I'm always thinking about. Uh, but I mean, it, it also wouldn't be me though if I wasn't trying to do something kind of weird. So here, here's how I'm approaching it, right? It's um, doing electronics with Asus Tinker board, and I thought like it'd be cool to do a demo because otherwise, like, kind of boring. Um, so I wanted like code live, just really simple blinking in LED with GPIO. They have an overhead camera on the bench, so it, it'll show off. Um, so I was like, okay, that's cool, and I'd want to project um, like the code that I was writing on the Tinker board. So then I was like, well. Sometimes single board computers, and I've had this happen with the Tinker board, um, if you don't have the HDMI connected on boot up, then it sometimes won't send a display signal out until you reboot again. Uh, so I, so I was trying to figure out like how to do that. I looked up to see if I could see any like monitors that have like a HDMI pass through, like one of those mini ones that people do. I couldn't see any of those. Um, so, because I was thinking, like, oh, I could have it on, but then, like, be able to, like, kind of plug into the side, and I'd be able to see it on. But then I was like, what if I presented my slides from the Tinker board? Could use LibreOffice. Could be really cool. So, my plan right now is I'll present my slides from the Tinker board and be able to go in and out of the presentation to do the demo without having to worry about anything. As a backup, don't, don't worry. Um... <laughs> both on the Tinker board and on my Windows laptop, I'll have slides that show the demo. Like they'll have the code for blinking LED and like I'll at least have a picture because guess what, videos will, will also go kerplunk uh, <laughs> with um, presentations as well. Don't want to deal with that. So, and as I just said also, I would have backup slides on my Windows laptop that would be able to project as well. And I'd have that up there with me ready to go in case anything happened. And I would test projecting from the Tinker board and doing the transitions and everything before. Um, probably at work, like after hours, I'd just go into a classroom, make sure it's working properly. So yeah. So that's what I'm thinking right now. I already have my slides made. I know, like I'm ahead of the game here, uh, but yeah. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Also kind of terrified. My talk's going to be on the Make Electronics stage, which is like the DigiKey area, if you've ever been to Maker Faire. Uh, and it's going to be Sunday at 11.30 a.m. So I'm like the first talk of the day on the electronics stage on Sunday. And I kind of like that I'm like first up Sunday, because also that means I have all day Saturday to just chill out and like take in the stuff and I can like be chill and everything. Sunday, you know, I'll get up, I'll do my thing, and then I have the rest of the day. So... I like that it sounds like it's like a doctor's appointment. I'm just getting it over with. Like, oh yeah, you know, I'll just get in, get out. It's all done. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of stuff happening. Uh, and I've been working on like my other projects too. I'm doing this like experiment thing with an RGB LED and one potentiometer right now where I'm trying to like sweep through all the colors. And like I have it working, but I want it to be smoother. I just don't know if I can with... Circuit Python. I've been like trying and I'm not, so I might actually try some Arduino with it because the effect is more important than the language. So we'll see. But yeah, so there's that. Um, I want to do more with the, oh God, so many jumper wires, why? Um, I want to do more with the LED matrix um, and the MSG Q7. I want to try to make like a little PCB. I think that would be fun. Um, I also, I know these exist already, like aftermarket, but I kind of want to do a little PCB that lets you plug in the Max 7219 and LED Matrix like together, but through holes so you can just plug them in. Um, 
Cause I know that they make ones with the uh, SMD um, package for the Max, uh, but I, I think it'd be cool just to have like a little breakout board that you could just plug in the through hole versions, and then I could make like a shared Osh Park project. Uh, and then also because summer's coming up, I'm starting to like think about kind of some bigger projects to work on a bit. I want to do some more music projects. I the working with the MSG Q7 has been cool, but I want to do like some more like MIDI style projects. Um, I have this one that I've wanted to do for like forever. I think I finally have time to work on it, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, just keep them busy. Um, oh, oh, one more thing. Um, I have a website now, uh, blitzadiy.com. Yeah. Uh, and actually, if you uh, look on the website, you would have seen all these updates in a blog post, and you probably could have saved yourself like a solid 10 minutes. So I'm just trying to keep that updated as much as I can. Um, it doesn't, the only original content it has right now are the blog posts I'm doing very sporadically. So far I've only done two. They've been like a month apart. Basically when I have enough stuff to say, I'll put it up there. Uh, and that's kind of doing it in lieu of a video like this, but I felt there was a lot happening right now, so it kind of warranted a video. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this update. If you're new from David's channel, thank you for subscribing. Welcome. Uh, more project videos on the way. I'll have links down to all the stuff I talked about in the description. Uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY. I'm gonna go drink some more coffee and try to keep my cats from destroying my apartment. <laughs>